So the big thing everybody's working on right now, um, even some of the more advanced students, it is incredibly difficult. But as that glider falls to their right, they immediately stick that right foot out to fight the glider. Glider goes left and you see their body lean to the right and fight the glider and try and drag the glider back. It's like your whole life, you walk where you wanna walk. But as soon as you put a glider on, it has to switch to where the glider controls your body. If that glider goes to the left at all, you float with it, float with it. If it pulls one ounce of pressure and you fight it, it pulls 10. And if you're still fighting it, it pulls 100. Pretty soon it's gonna drag your butt that way, whether you like it or not. You're going that way. It's just a question of whether you do it right and stay under it. Because if it pulls an ounce of pressure and you don't resist, it'll never pull to, because you'll stay under it. So it's a big one to watch for, is people putting that foot out to fight it, make them keep their feet down. Big, big, big. And then another one of the hardest pieces of all is facing the right direction. Because when the glider falls left and starts pulling, their natural reaction is to turn right away from the glider and fight the glider. So their body starts facing that way as the glider falls that way. And you'll see it clear as can be as it goes that way because it's kind of the intuitive thing to do, which is backwards. So if your glider falls left, it's gonna kind of yaw left like this. Your body needs to fall and turn with the glider. Glider goes right, you're not just gonna go right, you're gonna turn and yaw with the glider. So your body has to stay facing the direction the glider's going. And you'll see it when they do run and jumps. Cause the glider will go off this way, they'll run this way and then boom, it shoots them off to the side. And that's why. You gotta keep the body facing exactly the direction. And you don't run where you wanna run, you run where the glider tells you to. If you relax your body and relinquish control to the glider and your glider falls off this way, it doesn't matter a bit, you just run that way. And that's how you run, you launch crosswind. But if you resist it at all in a crosswind, boom, you're on your head like that. And that's why you fought it. You fought it when it pulled one ounce, so it pulled 10 pounds and boom, with a motor on, you're going down. So that's the big thing. It's kind of the last two pieces everybody's working on. Because when they go to fly the motor, it is absolutely critical that they stay under the glider. Do you see how many people, when they put the motor on, lose control of the glider? Because they're so used to fighting it, and now, all of a sudden, with 70 pounds on their back, they can't fight it. They're not strong enough. And so, boom, they lost control because they were fighting it the whole time when they didn't have the motor. Same thing with the direction. If they run the wrong direction, boom, glider falls, rips them over, or they lose control of the glider. And it's like every time you put a motor on someone's back, that's exactly what happens. And that's exactly why it's so critical that they spend hours and hours making sure they're relinquishing control of their body to the glider so that if the glider yaws, they just turn and run that direction. And then it'll always be perfect. Doesn't matter. As long as they leave the ground with the lift up, they'll come off the ground perfectly and then boom, fly away. So that's what to look for in all of the students as they're getting ready to fly, just to make for certain they're not doing that. Copy that. And even if you tell them that like 80 times, <laughs> you gotta just keep slapping them. Boom, 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 look what you're doing. The, and another thing is if you actually tell them to stall the glider, stop and watch. Because when they look at other people, it's blatantly obvious when you show them everyone else doing it. And then they're like, ah, and it kind of helps them see it and understand what they're doing is to show pretty much everybody. I mean, look, his glider's to the right, boom, his right foot's out fighting it. It just, it's like it becomes, you know, that's like the automatic response that's backwards. That's totally wrong. It's why you can't teach yourself to fly because you teach yourself wrong and backwards. And that's why guys who are self-taught can't control the glider in high winds because you fight at one ounce, boom, you're on your head. I mean, it's over.